I'm trainer Amy Jo with Athlean XX for Women. And today we want to talk about how to set fitness goals and also how to meet them. So setting fitness goals is really important because how do you know what you're after? Um, how do you know how to track them? How do you know how to achieve them? And I think having a proper structure um, to doing that is really important because also it keeps you motivated. So having goals is number one important because it keeps you motivated. And um, I think uh, um, encouraging those who are after uh, certain results, if you don't define those goals at the beginning, you lose sight, you know, you lose track of what you wanted in the first place. So, uh, and, and think about it, there's a lot of different goals out there um, that are health and fitness related. So let's talk about a few of those. So first off, uh, you know, the most obvious is aesthetics. So what, by that I mean what you look like. So uh, reducing body fat, reducing your weight, um, uh, and how do we track those? So a um, few different ways is by using a measuring tape. One of the uh, great ways that I encourage individuals to track your, um, or to even just to set a fitness goal is by saying, okay, use a measuring tape and measure your waist. Um, you know, waists are different, number one, based off of genetics, uh, but I think it's a great way to identify if you're achieving, um, you know, fat loss or not, and, and that's avoiding a scale, avoiding um, any other way, and you want to just find out how to reduce, or if your, you know, waist is coming down then measure right around the belly button. Your belly button never changes um, areas, and if you're always saying, okay, I'm gonna measure at my high waist, well, maybe, maybe one week you measure a little higher up, and the next week an inch lower, and it can kind of mess up um, the, to be exact. You wanna compare apples to apples. So I always encourage individuals to measure right around the belly button, and then you can kind of see week to week progress. And guaranteed, you know, you're not adding a lot of muscle mass around the abdominal region. So that's a great measuring device and a great way to determine if you're dropping um, body fat. Also clothes. Clothes is another great one. That's a great goal to set. I encourage those to set aside a pair of pants. So those are my measuring pants. Those are the ones that I'll come back to every Friday. I'm not going to cheat myself. I'm not going to try them on on Monday. I'm not going to try them on on Tuesday. Yes, I'm tempted. But throw them on every Friday. Throw them on every Saturday and see how you feel. That's a great way to uh, notice progress. Also, um, taking pictures as well is a good one. So progress pictures are pretty popular. The whole selfie thing, I'm sure everyone, you throw up your, your photo album and you've, you've got a bunch of them. But I think it's important to put them side by side and um, you know really see the different muscle definition that you're developing in your arm or your abs or your leg because um, those things are motivating. Maybe you, your abs aren't where they want to, where you want them to be yet. But what about your leg? You know, look at the things that that have come a long way, and be encouraged by um, by the progress there. So I think that's why progress pictures and and um, a mirror in general is um, really important and a great way to track your aesthetic goal. Uh, moving on, um, there's also body fat calipers as well, and I know some scales. Uh, show body fat as well. This is pr a lot more accurate than the, the scales that you're going to stand on, especially the, the home the home scale ones. Um, so uh, you have to have someone, it's really difficult to pinch yourself and get your own body fat, but um, these run around $200 uh, just depending upon you know what skin fold uh, caliper that you get. Um, but the most, excuse me, the most reliable are right around $200. So uh, that's another great way to track progress. Um, and um, and see maybe where your where your body fat has gone as well. All these variables are are um, are just that they're variables. It's not one way is dictating results at all. But you know if it's aesthetic driven, then it's more about how you look. So then you know focus probably the best way is on the mirror and your and your photos. Um, moving on to another uh, you know fitness goal. How to set these fitness goals. You know, um, it's also important to uh, think about your inner being and focus on, you know, why do you want these fitness goals and, um, you know, what else is going to help you become well-rounded. So thinking about your nutrition, thinking about your family's nutrition, maybe set goals in that area that you're not only doing this for yourself, but maybe you're a mom and you're trying to motivate your kids to do it as well. Um, 
So then set goals for dinners. How can you improve your dinners um, at night? Plan ahead, right? So uh, maybe create a schedule that has Monday, we're having this, Tuesday, we're having this, Wednesday, we're having this. That's a great way to set goals for your family and focus it on nutrition. Um, and maybe you do it with the workouts as well. A great way to set up the goals um, and, and meet those goals is to write them out. So, uh, you know, a park workout or we're going on walks every Monday night we go on walks write them out so you can track them and then also you can look back and see you know what you've accomplished um, so that's a great way to make sure that you are setting sustainable goals and um, they're also very deliberate and uh, specific the moving on to another one is um, self-image I think a lot of us women um, moms girlfriends, daughters, wives, sisters, we all recognize that in one another. Self-image is a, um, a pretty big uh, a topic and I think it's also something that we can all work on and realize that, my gosh, you know, as many women that are out there, nine out of ten um, are unhappy with um, the way that they look. And I think it, 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 as long as it's motivating you in a, in a healthy way and not overtaking your life, not affecting how you treat people, how people treat you, how you wake up in the morning, um, how you see life and, and conquer your day, um, then I think it's a good, healthy, you know, motivator. But at the same time, uh, setting self-image um, goals is important. So making sure that you're talking positively to yourself every day and realizing that you can have you can have both they don't have to be mutually exclusive on you know that you're um, really upset with how you look so now you're treating others in a way that you know um, is just dictated by how you feel day to day so set self-image goals as well I think that's really important for those where you feel health and fitness is important to you um, and, uh, and write them out. Once again, journaling is a big thing um, that I think is really effective, whether it's over nutrition, a self-image goal, a fitness goal, an aesthetic goal, is track it. Always track it and, and journal, and uh, then you can go back and review on how your progress has gone. So I encourage you in those ways, great ways to set fitness goals and how to meet them. Comment below. Let us know some of your ideas as well. Give us a uh, thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.